Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is count subsequences of type A power I, B power J, C power K. Right. So first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part. But before proceeding further to the video, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now and do join our Telegram community as well, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. The accounts has been mentioned in the description itself. So you can check from there. So let's get started with the problem statement now. So the problem says given a string S, the task is to count number of subsequences of the form A power I, B power J, C power K, where i greater than equal to 1, j greater than equal to 1 and k greater than equal to 1. Now there is a note even that two subsequences are considered different if the set of array indexes picked for the two subsequences are different. Also therefore large test cases the output value will be too large hence we have to turn the answer modulo 10 power 9 plus 7. So here is an example even. So the input is a b b c. So we are getting the output for this as 3. So subsequences are ABC, ABC and ABBC. So see, first they took this ABC, then this A, this BC, right? And then ABBC, right? So hope you got it. Let's understand the next example now. So here we are having the input as ABC, ABC. For that we are getting the output as 7. So here you can see the subsequences are ABC, ABC. A, B, B, C, A, A, B, C, A, B, C, C, A, B, C and A, B, C. So what our task is, we have to complete the function fun which takes the string S as input parameter and returns the number of subsequences which follows given condition. Expected time complexity is pick of length of a string and constant auxiliary space that we have to use. So I hope the problem statement is clear for you. So let's understand the logic to solve this particular problem. So let's say this is the string given to us. A, B, C, A, B, C, right? So this is the string given to us and for this one we have to tell that what should be the output, right? So as per the given question for this given string the output should be 7. So let's understand how. So when C, for now when you are considering this character that is A only. So in that scenario we can take a subsequence of like we can take this A itself. B and C are not present like when we are uh, starting our traversal from this particular character, right? So B and C value would be 0. Then we came across B. So AB, AB sequence we got, right? So this will remain as it is. Here we got AB. Then this will remain 0 only. Then we got a C, right? So this will remain as it is for A. Then AB. Then we got a ABC. So 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now we came across another A another a another character that is a so now what are the possibilities either this a character will form a new new subsequence okay or it will form right it will form a subsequence it will form a subsequence with the previous character right we were having this a right we were having this a okay so it would be a part of this a subsequence the previous subsequence that we were having or what can happen that it won't be a part it means this subsequence that this subsequence only would be considered right so we got how many values three values three values we got or basically we can say it is two into a plus one where a is what a is the subsequences that we were having for a so how many subsequences we were having for a just one so two plus one plus one sorry two into one plus one that is three and that's what we got three subsequences we got now here it would be as it is that is a b a b c now these values will come here right these a a thing okay let me write a a a a okay then we came across a b so same thing is going to happen for this b as well right so now for this b like when we are coming across this character b so what should be the possible subsequences that we can get the first one is that like it would be a part of it would be a parent character that we got V. That would be a part of B subsequence that we were having. That is AB. So ABB. Or it won't be a part. It means AB only. Or also it, it can combine with this A. Right. Because see. 
a b thing we need right so this a occurrences this a subsequences that we got so this a this b that we got this can collaborate with them so we can have here a b a b a a b so how many we got one two three okay from here one two three four five okay or basically we can say it as like we can say it as it depends on two into b plus a ka count so what was the a ka count that was three and b subsequent count was what one only so two into one plus three two into one plus three that is five okay and that's see we are, we are getting five subsequences for abc it will remain as it is now all these values will come here for b it will come here as it is now we have to take a decision for c so same thing is going to happen for c as well so either what would happen uh this character right this character would be this character c that we have seen it would be a part of c subsequences so these are c subsequences so we will be getting a b c c or it won't be a part it means a b c only or the other possibility is that the current character c that we have got so it will begin it will create a new subsequence of c with this b subsequences with this b subsequences so what what we going to have then so a b b c a b c a b c a b c a a b c these right these so a b b c a b c a b c a b c a a b c so how many we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and that's what our answer is that's what our answer is right so so what this one also like what would be the formula if i would say so it depends on 2 into c like the subsequences of c the count of subse uh, subsequences of c plus plus the count for b subsequences so 2c plus b right so that's what it is that's what the complete logic for this particular problem right so that's why that's how we are evaluating so do a dry run from your side as well then perhaps you will get a better picture you will get a better understanding and in case like do watch this part again in case you are having any confusion but i am sure like it should be clear for you so now let's proceed to the code part now so here is the code for the logic that we just discussed so this a b c are basically holding the counts for uh, a subsequence b subsequence and c subsequence and as if in the question they have mentioned that the value can be very large so we have taken this uh, value and store this in mod now we are simply going through the characters in our in the given string so now if the character that we have come across that is a right so what we are doing is simply the same formula right that we discussed while we were discussing the approach so we are using that one so a equal to 2 into a plus 1 and if the character is b then 2 into b plus a the subsequences of the count of subsequences of a if the character is c then 2 into c plus the plus count of subsequences of b and at the end we have to return the c value only right we have to return the c value only so that's what we are doing c value is basically having what the x the required subsequence that is in the form of abc in the form of abc right and that's what we are they are asking from us right so i hope the four part is even clear for you thank you so much for watching this video so guys for the reference i have provided the code in the description as well so you can check it from there even and even i myself have submitted this code so this is properly working and this code is in java right so as per the programming language you are comfortable with the logic is clear so you can code in that specific language only right so thank you so much for watching don't forget to share and subscribe my channel bye bye